Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second cath lab of Nanjing First Hospital. So today there will be another uh, uh, chip case for live demonstration. First, uh, let me introduce my team. Uh, I'm Dr. Junjie Zhang, and today the live case operator is uh, Dr. Ge Zhen. So please, uh, Dr. Ge, introduce your team. Okay, thank you, Dr. Zhang. And uh, I'm also here uh, to knife the case for the midstream, the three and uh, 16. And I would like to in uh, introduce my team. Uh, on my right is Dr. Go and uh, Dr. Chow and, and our, our nurses. And the technician is uh, Dr. Tan. So firstly, I want to ask the Dr. Go to introduce the patient clinical information. Please, Dr. Go. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, it's my honor to introduce this case. This patient is 74 year old female. He was admitted into our hospital uh, presenting with uh, recurrent chest pain for six months, aggravated eight days. Her risk factors included essential hypertension, diabetes, and uh, hyperlipidemia. Lab tests at our hospital showed her EGFR was almost normal. CMP was significantly elevated. Uh, echo showed uh, his, uh, her left ventricular injection fraction 45%. Her, she was diagnosed as unstable angina, essential hypertension, diabetes, and uh, uh, hyperlipidemia. Next. Echo, uh, the baseline echo at our hospital uh, showed her left ventricular, uh, her, uh, her left ventricular enlargement, uh, the, mo the motion of left ventricle uh, re uh, significantly reduced. Mild as, uh, as uh, aortic valve stenosis and mild aortic regurgitation, left ventricular injection fraction 45%. Baseline ECG found ST segment depression in these V3 uh, to V6, uh, V1, uh, v, uh, AVL. Next. 10 days ago, this patient received coronary angiography. The baseline angio showed mild to moderate stenosis, uh, diffuse uh, lesion in right coronary artery with severe calcification. Next. From every color view and a spider view, you could find a distal left main bifurcation uh, with severe calcification. 90% stenosis in distal left main involved LAD and a left circumflex. Nine, uh, the, the stenosis of osteum or left circumflex is more than 10, uh, more than 70%. The lesion length is more than 10 millimeter nice. uh, with severe calcification. Also, we, we could, uh, we could uh, find uh, a large uh, obtuse marginal, very torturous, and the calcification uh, OM branch. Now, uh, from uh, uh, every cranial view, we could find diffuse uh, moderate to severe stenosis in LAD with severe calcification, also involved a first diagonal, two bifurcation, LAD, uh, first diagonal bifurcation, this left main bifurcation. Next. Syntax goal for this patient is 58. Uh, according to definition criteria pro proposed by Professor Sao Liang Chen, the distal left main bifurcation belongs to complex distal left main bifurcation region. Next. After, the, after a hard discussion, this patient and her family refused cabbage. So we, uh, today we perform, uh, we plan to perform PCI for this patient. We plan to perform IVAS guided PCI with ECMO support for this uh, chip case. For severe calcification in LAD, left circumflex and uh, left left man, we plan to use uh, intravascular lysotripsy and a rotational astrolectomy by uh, standard by if needed. For distal, uh, complex distal left main bifurcation, we plan to use DK crush uh, stand, uh, standing technique uh, according to definition two trial. Uh, that's all, thank you. For that, for that. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Gao, for your nice introduction. Actually, uh, it's a typical chip case. So left main triple vessel disease with uh, uh, half ref and also with a mild aortic stenosis. According to the um, baseline angiogram, you can see it's a diabetes patient, triple vessel disease, Santum. also Santum. involved a very distal. You can see, uh, can you show the today's uh, angiogram? Okay. So actually today's angiogram shows uh, for the distal LAD, distal SIR, and even distal RCA. 
So actually, it's a very diffuse a small vessel disease. So from this scenario, I think uh, after discussion with our heart team, with our cardiothoracic surgeon, so it's uh, not a good candidate for bypass surgery. So finally, the decision was made to perform a chip case PCI for this uh, particular case. So considering um, Dr. Girl, so this is a poor LV function. So old AMI, unstable angina, and the um, LVEF is only 40%. Uh, percent. So for its, uh, you can see the baseline angiogram, it's a severe calcification involved this left man. Uh, so in, in terms of safety concern, for this case, I think uh, circulation support device will, will be mandatory for this uh, chip case PCI. So what's your decision for this case? So you will use uh, uh, IBP or you will use uh, um, equitable support? Because uh, we all know now that in China, we don't have uh, uh, Impala uh, device. Okay, it's, uh, thank you for your, this uh, important question. It's patient is uh, no BMI and uh, no injection fraction and the uh, unstable angina because the old MI. A pressure and, uh, a little damping, be careful your guiding cassette. Okay. Don't, yeah, disengage a little. Yeah. Okay, the patient with the, um, I think it's the cardiomyopathy and uh, with the uh, in, inject, uh, no injection fraction. So patient with the dyspnea and uh, admit to our hospital. So I think it's a very, very, very uh, cheap the patient. So um, um, based on the angiogram, we can see it's a confused. Can, can you show the angiogram? Yes. Uh, step so, by step for today's angiogram. Yeah. Um, from the caudal view, we can see the left uh, man with the uh, severe the calcification with the the via the uh, stenosis and uh, this triplification involves the uh, circumflex and the rims and the uh, LED. Also, we can see the circumflex is uh, diffuse uh, lesion with the severe the calcification. Okay, uh, next. And uh, from the cranial view, we can see the LED is a diffuse lesion from the OST and the LD to the distal LD. Uh, also, we can see the diagonal is diffuse lesion with uh, mm, severe the, the calcification. So, for this particular case, I think it's uh, with the cut with the uh, surgery, and uh, think it's not a good uh, suitable for the cabbage. So we need to uh, PCR for this case because the patient with uh, no injection fraction. So I think use the ECMO to uh, support this uh, patient to do the PCI procedure. Okay. So IBP, I think if we, uh, the procedure is uh, smoothly and the ECMO is enough for this case. And after that, if the, um, we can get the good, the TIMI flow, probably we can to remove the ECMO uh, cancer after the procedure. So this is our um, plan for this patient. For the um, uh, PCI procedure, because the LD from the D, uh, ostium to the distal is the diffuse lesion, um, and the LD and the diagonal is a true bifurcation. It's very, very it's, uh, complex. So from the um, right call uh, right and uh, cranial view we can see the in the proximal the LD we can see some of the um, some of the vessel is uh, probably is okay probably I want to the nanny zoo is here to proximal LD to the um, and left man and then for the digital bifurcation probably use the uh, DK crush or another and two stand technique to treat it. For the rims, probably use the wire to protect, to uh, keep it open, I think sure. is enough. So, that's it.
so this uh, is the ECMO uh, catheter. We already to insert it, and uh, uh, machine is all worker is very well. So, and uh, from the other view, we advance the wire to the LD and the circumflex, but uh, um, we advance the wire to into the ramus is uh, very difficult because we can see the very angular in there. So I use the myocaster to support, and then use the uh, so what's that? Uh, XTR XTR wire to advance the um, ramus, uh, distal ramus. And uh, yeah, this uh, okay. And then I use the two point zero balloon to predilect to circumflex, approximate circumflex, and the LD, proximal LD, and the left man. And then I check IVs for LD and the circumflex. So uh, I would, would like the doc fan to introduce the LD and the circumflex uh, IVs imaging. Okay, let me show the IVs imaging. The first yeah, one, okay, we I'll check IVs from yeah. LAD to left man. Okay, and here we can see this is the LAD and the diagonal bifurcation. The IVS cannot over very distal. So here we can see the LED vessel diameter is about 3.2 millimeter. Uh, and here we can see the LED and the diagonal, the plaque area is very large. Uh, and the, the area and the plaque is uh, calcium. Then going through back, we can see the calcification length very long. Then go and pull back here. This point is the proximal LED, and here we can see uh, the plaque uh, is a calcification, and the calcification mm. angle is oh. about 360 degrees. Then go and pull back. This is the proximal LED, and here this point is the ostimal LED, and here the area is just 2.5 millimeter square, oh. and the plaque burden is more than 74%. And here, the vessel diameter is more than 3.5 millimeter. Then go and pull back, we can see the second flex guide wire will join left main. And this is the POC, and this is the distal left main. In distal left main, this point, we can see the area is just 2.0 millimeter square, and the plug burden is more than 80, 87%. And here, the left main uh, and diameter is more than 4.5 millimeter. Then go and pull back, this is the body left man. And here, this is the proximal left man. The whole left man plaque is very large. Okay, this is the LED run. Uh, Dr. Pan, what's the vessel size of the left man? 4.5. 4 4.5, okay. So proximal LED is 3.5, the vessel yeah. size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Actually, it's from the iris and also from the angiogram. Actually, there is a there is a no um a good landing zone for proximal LED. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you calculate the proximal LED uh, landing zone just yeah. the doctor girl mentioned? Uh, what's the plot burden? Maybe. Yeah, we should select. Actually, it's a diffused lesion. So actually, there is no landing zone, but we should uh, select a, a, a proper okay. landing zone. Yeah. The distal landing maybe are more than LED and diagonal bifurcation. Okay, just before the origin, uh, or, or origin of a first diagonal, or just beyond the diagonal. Yeah. Actually, there is no no significant no no good landing zone. You hear? Yeah, cannot find the good landing zone. Yeah. Okay. The plug broaden very large. Yeah. Okay, so next, I I think you will introduce uh, the circumflex run of the Ivers you mentioned. Okay. The second round, we check Ivers from the second flex to left man. And the Ivers oh, also okay. cannot uh, over very distal. This is a proximal second flex. And here we can see the second flex vessel. Uh, second flex uh, vessel diameter is about 3.5 millimeter. Okay. Uh, yeah, and the 60. plaque is uh, calcium too. But the calcification angle is about 180 okay. degree. Then go and pull back here. This point is a ostium circumflex. And here, uh, this point, the area is about 2.6 millimeter square. And the plug burden is more than 
80 degrees, uh, 80 percent. And here the vessel diameter is about 4.0 millimeter. Then go on here, this is the LED and the Sunflex bifurcation. Yeah. Actually, from the I was imagine, although the front angle is a steel cervix classification, but sort of I was only 100 degree up. Yeah. So it means uh, maybe no need to do the laser therapy. But for LED to left man, so Dr. Ge, uh, from the IVC imaging, it's, uh, uh, I think, uh, very so-called, very super, uh, superficial classification. So what's your strategy after 2.5 NC balloon predilation? Yeah, this is the key for this particular case. It's um, a diffuse lesion with a severe classification, especially from the left man to the uh, LD. From the IVS, we can see is here is a uh, uh, classification more than the uh, 330 degree. So, and because the diameter is more than 2.5 millimeter, so we have that the uh, little blue. So I want to use the um, uh, IVL to, to treat this uh, uh, classification. What's the balloon size for the lithotherapy for uh, IVR? From the IVS, probably we use the 3.0 millimeter balloon to prepare this lesion. Okay. Um, from the IVS, because the circumflex, proximal circumflex, is a classification probably just to 100 A, 8 the degree, so probably use the non-compliant non balloon to prepare is uh, enough for this circumflex. So here I use the 3O I will to prepare the LD and the distal never mind. So for this uh, particular severe classification case, we, after NC balloon predilation, we will use uh, uh, 3 uh, IVR for the lesion uh, preparation. So after uh, NC balloon predilation, you can see there is no uh, severe uh, dissection. So from this view, we can see the following IVR treatment will be safe. Yeah. So because uh, during IVR treatment, the, uh, the, the left, left man will be totally occluded. So. So we have, have used uh, ECMO to uh, support the patient. From this uh, point, I think uh, ECMO can supply at least uh, 2.5 liter uh, uh, output uh, for the, uh, for, from the cut compared with uh, only 0 0.5 uh, reach of IBP. So ECMO is uh, uh, powerful, uh, more powerful than the IBP for the circulation support. So another question is uh, uh, from the iris. Actually, the lesion is uh, quite uh, less. M maybe Dr. Pan, what's the length of the circumflex ostimo lesions from the iris? 3.5. Uh, what's the length? The lesion length? Uh, not the lesion diameter, lesion length. Is there a uh, landing zoom for the circumflex? Mm. Maybe here, this? Yeah. to do the deep landing zone. Uh, yeah, what's the lens? Uh, just uh, six, six millimeter. Yeah, I think it's a short. So actually uh, consider it's a severe classification lesions. From the IVC imaging, uh, okay. so Dr. Ge, after uh, lithotherapy for AD, you will still follow your uh, pre-designed uh, uh, stand technique, uh, two stand decay crush for left man, or you will change your uh, option. You will use uh, provisional standing for this case. Yeah, because this uh, circumflex is a very large vessel. And, uh, okay. So I use the six. Yeah, one runner, first run. Mm, yeah. The expansion is good. Back a little bit. Okay. Back. Okay. Here. Okay. 
So the IBI oh. balloon was uh, oh. across the ostium circumflex from the distal oh. left main okay. to the proximal ID and uh, inflated at a uh, uh, full atmosphere. So we have uh, started the second round of the early uh, therapy. Six atmosphere. Check. Yeah, good. The balloon was inflated. Huh? Yeah, but, uh... Distal room. The shoulder, distal shoulder is not good. Hemodynamic a little yeah. lower, but still stable, more than 100 okay. for the systolic pressure. Another part wrong. Four. The patient actually has been intubated. Six atmosphere. Check. It's good. It's good. The balloon was uh, looks uh, fully uh, expanded. Yeah. Okay. How many rounds we have uh, performed for the laser therapy? Three rounds. Three rounds. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, okay. The BP is a little lower. Mm. Now it's okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Four. Six. Atmosphere. The balloon, the shape of the balloon was a full expansion, yeah. I think uh, it's effective uh, lysotherapy for severe calcification lesions. Is it four rounds? Yeah. Back. Okay, from the angel, I think we get a good result. So next step, we will check the iris to see have we successfully opened the uh, calcified lesions. Good. Good. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. Let's check ours. As you can see, the the high OM uh, and also the first diagonal. From the angle, it looks small vessel, but uh, the length of the artery is quite longer, quite long. So, and they also supply a very large territory. So it's uh, not a small side branch; it's a big side branch. Yeah. Okay, the... So now we check the iris. Okay, just at the just beyond the first diagonal. Yeah. To see if, okay. if there is okay. any good landing zoom to <laughs> close the lesions and the superficial calcified. Dr. Pan, you introduced the IRC image. Lumen area is very small. And here we, we cannot here? clearly see the crack. And here we can see media dissection. Yeah, yes. Uh, <laughs> maybe yeah. A, a, a landing zoom. Yeah. Ah, that is a crack. You can see. Yeah, at the seven o'clock. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you see. crack. Yeah, there is two at least two or three crack. Very effective uh, lysotherapy for this uh, case. The lumen diameter is about two point five. Yeah. Now I think a circumflex is coming. Yeah. How about the see. left man? The this the left man. Mm. Left man is uh, not uh, uh, thirty hundred uh thirty sixty degree uh classification. Yeah. How about the vessel size? Yeah, this Very is the ostium left mat. Okay. Okay. So after this therapy, uh, Dr. Ge, are you are you satisfied the result before yeah. you put the stand? Yeah, and uh, before that, I to check I was for the second to... Yeah, okay. 
after balloon dilation, have we checked the iris? Yeah, for the second fan X. Dr. Fan? Uh, for what? LD or uh, second press? Okay. 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 So this is a two point five NC balloon pre dilation. Okay, I will, I will pull back. The tissue circumflex. The vessel diameter is about two point five. And here this point the plug burden is not more than fifty. Yeah, maybe here is a landing zoo if we use a decay crush for circumflex. Yeah. And here the plug is more and more larger. Here. 2.5, so you're yeah, quite large. Yeah. The proximal circumflex. What's the vessel? E LED guardrail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it says a left man. I I got stuff. Yes. Yeah, stuff. Okay. So, doctor, what's your option? Yeah, from the flag? from the Ivers, we can see LG and the left man and second flags preparation is very good. So I want to put a stand for this uh, this don't left man. So I just use a uh, uh, two stand technique for this distal left man because the, based on the definition criteria, this is a complex bifurcation. Circumflex is a very large vessel. I don't want to lose it. So, and um, first of all, I put the one stand in the proximal LD and then to to the distal level man, use the TK crush. Okay, and uh, uh, just now uh, before mentioned, and uh, I don't want to touch the AOD and the diagonal, this uh, bifurcation lesions. This is very, very complex for that. So, uh, first of all, I want to use the 2.5, isn't that enough? It's okay? Yeah, okay, okay. Two is a very short stand, it's just use uh, 15, uh, 18? 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2.518 there in the proximal AOD and the two use the DK crush for the distal level man here is the first stand. Uh, Dr. Pyle, according to the iris, what's the stand size for the circumflex? Maybe it's 3.0, it's better. 3 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's the lens? Uh, 18. 18, okay. Okay. The prepare 3 or 18. Uh, because for our eyebrows, actually, the ostium circumflex still very tight lesions and also very eccentric uh, calcified lesions. So, safety concern, I think 3 is better. 18. It's 18. The position, the stand position is quite important. Yeah. Because actually from the engine and the iris, there is no landing zone okay. here. It's yeah, a little longer, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's longer. Have we cross over the, we should avoid the cross over the first diagonal. Yeah. We should not uh, pinch it's the first probably, diagonal. Probably 15. I think it's longer. We can change the, the stand, yeah. It's longer. Uh, 2.515. 15 or 13? Or 13. So this is a tough case and also a very difficult decision because the LED, there is no good landing zoom. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's a 15. 14. 14. 14 is okay, yeah. I also open. Let's jump. 
Так. Okay. Mm. Mm. I think we put the position. Okay. Oh, sure. Do you need to push a little? A little no. distal. Little, little, little. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You see the proximal radius then? Six. We, Eight. We're landing the stand and the uh, relative, um, relative normal six, six segment from the angiogram. The avoid the distal edge dissection, yeah. Sure. So use a yeah. stem balloon to do the post dilation at high pressure. Yeah, okay. that's good. Good, okay. Then we can do a CINI to check there is the no distal edge dissection. Yes. Then we will switch to the uh, distal left man with the decay crush. That looks good, huh? Yeah. 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 So the next step is a DK crush. The first step, a side branch standing. So according to the Iris imaging, we sele selected the coil. 3 O by 18 stand uh, for the circumflex with the minimal protruding into left man. Through At the same time, I think we we will choose a 3.5 balloon put into the LED, which will be used to oh, yeah. crush the circumflex stand. Yeah. And you And also, uh, Doctor Gu put a jet wire protect the the rimas. Also, actually, it's uh, from the iris. Actually, uh, Doctor Pan, it's uh, it's a high OM or rimas. Maybe maybe oh, yeah. Remus, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's Remus. Can, can you introduce uh, how to uh, distinguish uh, Remus or high OM from the iris? Yeah, is a yeah simultaneous. Yeah, is a yeah from this view. Can you can you introduce how to distinguish? Uh, I think it's good. Okay. Taxi. From the LED run, we can see the first. We can see the the rimas, yeah. Rimas, uh, yeah. Uh, join the just at the three clock, and yeah, the... yeah, 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 yeah. And the, another one, the second flex, uh, uh, pull back. We can see the rimas. Uh, we are okay. join the yeah. okay. vessel okay. two. This is from the second flex. It is. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. I think VP a little lower. Yeah, you can see that it's control staining at the uh, aortic root. Because the two blues. In yeah, be careful. Water. No, I mean uh, the aortic root. You can uh, continue yeah. staining, control staining there, which means uh, the cardiac output is lower. Yeah. So it's a typical high risk uh, chip case. Yeah. So which you need a uh, mm, ECMO support. Yeah. yeah. So uh, circumflex standing is uh, complete. So we will yes. check the angel yeah. and confirm there is a no distal edge dissection. Yeah, it's look good. Then we are followed with a balloon crush. Balloon crush, yeah. yeah. So three, three point five balloon. Three point five. So. Inflate to crush the circumflex then. Yeah. 
Yeah. With sure. the jet wire to protect the, the remus, yeah. Cross again. Yes. We should uh, got a very good uh, uh, crush result. Otherwise, uh, there will be there will be difficulty to rewire the side branch and rebloom the side branch. So, Doctor, you will choose, uh, use uh, uh, another wire. You will use the, the previous uh, circumf circumflex wire. It's, uh, same wire. So from uh, the first rewire is very important in terms of decay crash. We should from the proximal cell to avoid the distal excess. Because for the distal left-hand bifurcation, the distal bifurcation angle is quite hot, quite large. If we from distal excess, maybe we will go on. The wire will go under the stance tract. So if we rebloom the side branch and then we will destroy, damage the stance tract. So, uh, doctor, mm -hmm. can you uh, uh, show is this uh, proximal excess? Yeah, I think it's proximal because this Y is uh, uh, from the uh, distance from the uh, cornea, provocation of the cornea. So, there is a uh, two method to distinguish uh, the wide position. First, the uh, first uh, widening. The uh, first uh, is uh, use the uh, angiogram. We can do uh, do the cine okay. uh, just after the Y tip cross the uh, circumflex. If the Y tip is uh, uh, not uh, nearby the distal cranial, so which from the angiogram we can distinguish the distal uh, proximal excess. Another more precise method is to use the iris check. We can put the iris into members and pull back. From the iris imaging, we can check the Y position. So you can see uh, uh, we, we, oh. we very smoothly advance the side branch balloon in the circumflex. <clears throat> 14. 16. 16. Then after balloon dilation, uh, we will do the uh, kissing balloon inflation. So what's the balloon size? It's a thrill. Thrill, yeah. yeah. Do the do the kissing. What's the main vessel uh, stand lens from the proximal LED to the ostium left man? We should check I was okay. Maybe it's three five. It's bad. No, yeah. no, 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 no. The lens. What's the lens? Should. Uh, Oh, again, check, check Elvis. Check Elvis again. The septal, the lens of septal to left me. The lens. Check, yeah, check Elvis. We can okay. check Elvis. It's good. And uh, the first, uh, the uh, Remus flow is good. Good. Yeah, very nice. So it's for high risk PCI chip case. Uh, I was guidance so it was associated with a good result in terms of the long term follow up. <clears throat> so introduce Dr. Pan. Instan? Yeah, yeah. Instan. It's a proximal stand. The stand is full expansion, huh? Good. Yeah, good. Yeah. It's a 2.5 stand. Actually, it has post expansion to at least a 3 -0. Yeah. Hey. Here is the landing zoom, yeah? Yeah. That's Good. The section. Hmm. Yeah, the section. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. I will stop. Wait, wait. How long? 
What's the next? 3.5? Then... No, 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 wait a moment. I think the crash, the filtration is very short and the guard wire is passing through in uh, stand. Yeah. Not passing through the possible here, I think. Oh, you mean uh, we did not crash, yeah? Yeah, this is a POC, and here this is the stand. The protrusion of very. Maybe sh a little short. Oh, okay, so okay. we got a while. It's 3.05, uh, 3.5 volume. Uh, oh, yeah. I want to crash. I think we use uh, three five crush again, and, and yeah. maybe you can use uh, four o crush. Four o crush. Okay. Uh, can you see our uh, uh, stem position? Oh, how long protruding into the left man for the circumflex stem? Too loud. Go yeah, go yeah. Um, Yeah. Two or one millimeter. Can you show the angel? Where is a uh, mini crush? Yeah, yeah. Okay, mini crush. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why the beautiful of the iris can detect the this. Uh, yeah. Very important important information. Uh, this is a side branch standing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We should uh, get a big size balloon. I think four o. The next is just the eleven from the first stand stand uh, to Austin and left man. Yeah. Crash again. Uh, do you think three point five is uh, enough for crash? For the left man is four o. Yeah, uh, I'm, what I concern is uh, three point five is uh, not large enough to do the fully crush here. Oh, pot of Oh, oh. Pot. 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 Wanda. Sydney. Oh. Pot of After four oh balloon crash, we can check the iris again. To confirm if we have got fully crush. Okay, this is a pot blue. This is a pot blue. Yeah. Okay, test, test. Okay. okay. Yeah, four is safety, I think, even for, for LED, yeah. Mm. Yes. Uh, you see. You need to and the hold the hold the balloon and the gentle inflation gradually. Two, four, six, four, eight. It's a short balloon with a very very uh, short shoulder. <clears throat> yeah. Ten. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Two. Okay. Check out. Yeah, we should check the iris. Yeah. How many uh time we have? Maybe just uh, three minutes. Okay, yes. that's okay. Yes. I can check the iris. So for complex uh, stand technique, I was even even crucial.
Okay. Okay. Go back. Yeah, I will pull back. Mm. Yes. This is in Prosima LED. If you see here. Hello? Okay, stop. Yes, stop. Yes, I, I can see the color wire. Have a good, get a good, good crush. I think it's not short. Good, good crush, but yeah, it's I very think... short. Then we rewind inside the branch. Yeah. yeah. The photos are very short. Can we see the two layer of stand structure from the iris? Maybe. At, uh, so, so I mean at at one and one to two o'clock. What's the phenomena, Doctor Pan? I did not see the overlapping stand layer at this time. What do you think? Mm, it's just here. Mm. I think he... maybe we still need a. Here is the side branch. Okay. Is thank it... you. Check I'm okay. Check I was okay, okay. For now LD. Okay. This is a revow revow again. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, pull back. Yeah. I see the card wire. Now it's good, I see. It's uh stop. stop here? Yes, yeah, stop okay. here. Where the wire? Where the wire? We can uh, see, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one o'clock. Yeah, one o'clock. Not see very clearly. Maybe in proximus here and here. Yeah, here. Passing through the proximus here. Mm. Yeah. I think uh, now the wire, I think uh, we have truly the wire stand struct. Uh, I wanted to do the photo casing information again. Yeah. So where we do the first casing balloon inflation? Yeah. With the three oh. balloon in circumflex and the three point five in okay? three point five in LED. Why you pick up? What's the balloon size? Three oh. Three oh, yeah. Five, Fifteen. It's it a little long. Yeah, that is a resistance. Maybe you can switch uh, to. Ankle. Ankle. Okay. Ankles. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. okay. Gut, gut. Ja. Ja. Gut. 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 Dr. Pan, what is the time? It's 10 for the... 35 and the 11. 11? Nancy is 11. Yeah, Nancy is 11. So, so the size is the 13. 14 or 15 is enough. 14? 14? Yeah, 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 yeah. You mean 14? Because we should overlap at least. 14. Uh, 14. 14 15, or 15. 15. 15, yeah. So prepare the port balloon for all port balloon. So will you pull out the jet wire before you put a stand? Yeah, after standing. After standing, I will put the jet wire. Just still need a little Okay, yeah. Oh, so what have you to give so for the Ostimo left man position, I think uh, AIO crane view is quite important. Yeah. I think uh, we have fully covered enough. Yeah. 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 Like, have we overlapping the distal? Yeah, overlapping. I think it's overlap. Yeah. Overlap, okay. I think. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to yeah. Almost a little bit. Okay. Just need to. Good. Okay. Information. So for, before for, your port, will you pull out the circumflex wire? Yeah, I would. Because the circumflex will have put a stand, yeah. No need to protect the circumflex, yeah. Good. It's good, left man stand, yeah. For all? For all? Yeah, for all. Good. What when we pull out the jet wire, you should avoid the guiding tip pumping out, which will injure the osteo left man yeah, uh, stand structure, uh, induced uh, longitudinal stand deformation. Yeah. I have to push the balloon into the left man and yeah. uh, then pull out the Circle flag and then the rim is the wire. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Here is the circumference wire. Good. Is the rim is. Oh, I missed. Okay. Good. good. Rim is the hydrophilic wire, yeah? Or work house wire. It's a seal. Seal. Yes. Good. Good. You finish. Oh. Yeah. This. This. 
Okay. Hmm. Okay, sure. It's better. I will stay tower 15. Thank you. Okay. 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 Now after port, there where I do the next step of DK crush, a uh, second rewind from the still from the proximal cell. Mm, yes. Oh, probably I need change the last new one. You need new wire. Yeah. yeah. After main method stem standing, uh, either no matter provisional standing or two stand technique, a port is always very important because the stand siding is according to the distal reference vessel. So after main method standing, I think uh, we should do the port. The port size should be selecting according to the proximal main vessel, make the stem full expansion. And also port can lead to um, good position of the stem at the POC zoom and also facilitated the side branch wiring because port can open the stand cell at the POC zone. Yeah. Patient was stable and uh, hemodynamic versus tolia BP is a 113, diastolic is a 75, very stable hemodynamic. For well, the second rewiring, uh, Doctor, uh, what's the wire position you, of the yeah, DK? Yeah, for the DK crush technique, the second uh, rewiring is uh, from the proximal or the middle stem strut. It's still I from think. the proximal, yeah. Yeah. So we will okay. use the three point five in the LED and the still use the three O balloon the for circumflex. Yes, do the... and the, do the sequential post dilation for circumflex and the LED. Then do the final casing balloon inflation at a media pressure. Yeah. Maybe it's not easy. Probably need just one big Yeah, maybe blue anchor in LED. Oh, okay. Nice, very nice. So you see the beautiful of DK crash after first kissing ball inflation. Um, for the secondary rewiring, actually only one layer then. So. You can see even we use a still use a 3O NC balloon, we can very, very smoothly advance the balloon cross into the circumflex. So after sequential post dilation, LED in the circumflex at high pressure, we finally do the uh, kissing balloon inflation. For the final kissing balloon inflation, we should keep the two balloon tip at the same uh, at the same same level, yeah. 
Okay. Oh. So from the angel, actually the circumference balloon looks uh, fully open, full expansion. But from LED, actually there is a waste. Okay. Okay. The finally we check out to 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 make sure that stand expansion. Yeah. Will you do the final port before we check the iris? Yeah. Yes. Four O balloon. So how many times we have? Just so one minute. Okay. <laughs> After port, we can do the angel. Then followed, we do the iris. I think. Uh, it's a nice demonstration of the chip case we treated with uh, iOS guided DK crash with the uh, ECMO support. So after final casing, we haven't do the angiogram. Okay. Can yeah, we can do angiogram here. Or. Okay. Nice, huh? Nice. Can we go to AP Codo, and do and also the AP Cranial? Thank okay. you. Thank you for the live.